Okay, so some more pumping problems for calculus two. Here are a couple that you can try. Let's say we have a tank that has this sort of a geometry. Okay, so let's say it's five feet long and three feet wide at the top, rectangular top. It also has a rectangular bottom, but let's say that it's one foot wide at the top, at the bottom, and you know, this thing is also five feet, same, same dimension. So it's sort of a trapezoidal tank. And um, go ahead and, uh, you know, pump this thing out, uh, let's see, let's make it six feet deep, okay? So the, the tank is six feet deep, and let's go ahead and pump it out, uh, doesn't matter, nine feet above the top surface of the tank, okay? And you can let the density be 50 pounds per cubic foot. Go ahead and set this one up and give it a shot and see what it takes. Another one that we can do is we have the ground level here, okay? Let's say we have, uh, you know, one of these semis here, uh, and we have a tank underground here, okay? Let's say that this tank is in the form of a right circular cylinder, but that its axis is horizontal underground, okay? So this is the axis, right? So let's say that this distance is, uh, I don't know, 15 feet, okay? And we'll let the radius of the tank be uh, four feet, all right? And we'll let the length of the tank be um, 20 feet. Okay. And so let's say that uh, the, the discharge here into the truck is um, 12 feet above the ground. Okay, we're going to pump it up 12 feet above the ground. And so let's say that this uh, cylindrical tank is full of uh, fluid. Let's make it full of uh, anything. Make it full of seawater this time. Okay. Now, with this problem, um, I can tell you that uh, you want to look at symmetry, okay? You can use symmetry sometimes to simplify these things. And also, uh, where you set up your zero for your axis is also going to be pretty important with this problem. So this is a good one. Try this one and uh, let me know if you can do it. You can send it to me. Send me a picture of your solution.